Hello everyone, my name is Dmitry and today I want to tell you about what Czechoslovakia was like after the collapse of the Soviet Union and the collapse of the Warsaw Pact. I will tell you about the Velvet Revolution, the armed forces, economic reforms and much more. Little information has been written on this topic, but if someone is interested, I will leave a link to the material in the description. Alright. Let's go 34 years earlier, in the midst of Perestroika. So, in 1989, due to general discontent, mass protests began in November. These protests were called the Velvet Revolution, and they reflected the dissatisfaction of the people of Czechoslovakia with the monopoly position of the Communist Party. Opposition groups have formed a political movement in Bohemia and Moravia, the Civic Forum. In Slovakia, a similar movement was called the Public Against Violence. The dominant position in Czechoslovak society of the Civic Forum and the Public Against Violence allowed for deep reforms in the country. After the first parliamentary elections in 1990, the state received a new name the Czech and Slovak Federal Republic, and the number of parties increased to 40. New laws have been adopted concerning the restoration of the rights and political rehabilitation of citizens. Of particular importance were the changes in the criminal producer code towards its humanization, including the abolition of the death penalty. In connection with the political transformation in November 1989, the People's Militia, which was an instrument of violence in the hands of the Communist Party, was dissolved. The term of compulsory service in the army was reduced from 2 years to 18 months. Citizens were given the opportunity of alternative service for a period of 27 months. Also, now Soviet troops were forbidden to be on the territory of Czechoslovakia, and the last units left the country in June 1991. A new ruling power has appeared in the country, the Federal Assembly, and the first task of this Federal Assembly was to create a new constitution that defined relations between Czechs and Slovaks. But the Federal Assembly could not exist for a long time, because disagreements often arose between Czech and Slovak politicians. In this regard, the parties agreed to disperse in a civilized manner. The opposition demanded to hold a referendum on this issue, but the Federal Assembly refused on the night of December 31, 1991, Czechoslovakia ceased to exist. I do not want to delve into the economy, but it should be noted that after the Velvet Revolution, Czechoslovakia had new prospects. The initiators of the new economic reform were Walter Kamarik and his colleagues from the Institute of Forecasting of the Czechoslovak Academy of Sciences. Walter developed the economic and social plan of Czechoslovakia until 2010. Until 1989, the leading bank was the State Bank of Czechoslovakia. He controlled most of the financial activities of enterprises, but already in 1990 some new commercial and investment bank appeared. The Czech krona has become freely convertible. In Czechoslovakia there was a broad system of social security, free medicine, free education, payment of vacation at the expense of trade unions, and so on. In 1990, the first private and church schools were opened. After the collapse of Czechoslovakia, the education system did not change. As for religion, despite the anti-religious propaganda, many citizens attended church, and it was churches that remained the center of anti-communist sentiments. After the revolution of 1989, religious freedom was restored, and all episcopates resumed their activities. Unfortunately, as I said earlier, the leaders of the Czech and Slovak parties could not come to a common agreement, and every year the Czech Federal Republic and the Slovak Federal Republic moved further and further away from each other. In July 1992, the Slovak parliament adopted the Declaration of Sovereignty and the Constitution of Independent Slovakia. 
On the 25th of November, the Federal Assembly decided that Czechoslovakia would be dissolved from the 1st of January 1993. After that, in December, the Czech National Council adopted its constitution, and the whole nation celebrated the new year for the last time in post-Soviet Czechoslovakia. Wow. 